Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a neon text effect using GIMP. First let's go to File, New, and here I'll type in 1600 pixels for width, and I'm going to leave the height to 900 and click OK. Then go to Edit, Fill with Foreground Color. Next I'll grab the Text tool and type Text Effect. Then Ctrl A to select the text and type here 200 pixels to change the size, then bold and also change the color to white from here for now. Then with the move tool I'm going to position this text. Let's zoom in. Now next I'll go to layer, layer to image size. And next thing I'll do is go alpha to selection on the text layer. Next go to border, type in 3 pixels, click OK, then go to select again, invert, then I'll go to select again, feather, and type just 2 pixels this time, click OK again, and then I'll grab the eraser tool, increase the size of the brush, and choose this fuzzy brush, and I'm going to start erasing the inside of the text, leaving only the outline. Next thing I'll go to select, invert again, and I'll grab the brush tool, click here, and I'm going to position this dialog over here, and also choose this fuzzier brush that I'm going to need later also, and then select this bright yellow color, and start using the brush tool then let's change the color to light blue again bright color let's move this over here and change the color to this red next let's select the green color Next I'm going to select this pink color and finish this text. Now let's close this and then Control shift a to deselect and then go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur and I'll use this radius, 4 pixels, click OK. Next I'm going to duplicate the layer from this option go to filters, reshow Gaussian blur and type 40 pixels this time, click enter and then click OK. Now the next thing I want to do is go to the color pickle tool, select sample merged and go back to the background here. So I'm going to be painting with the brush tool on the background with 10 opacity and also 250 size but when I click here and hold down the control key I'll get the color picker tool and I can click on the text and select the yellow color and start using this color. Then I'm going to continue. So by changing the option sample merged on the color picker tool you can pick colors from the text layer but you can paint on the background so this is something useful to know. Next thing I'll do is go grab another brush here to create more interesting background. I'm still searching for the one that I would like to use and I think I'm going to use this one here. And you see you can paint with that, but first let's go here to this pink and paint with the brush tool. Then I can hold down the control key again and change the color with the color picker to this green and continue painting. Then I'll change it to this red. And also let's switch to another brush.
let's go ahead and select the blue this time Let's pick the color again. I picked the wrong color and paint with this yellow. And this creates a interesting effect on the background. So that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you like this text effect. And if you want to see the image on higher quality, you can visit the Facebook page, link is in the description. And if you want to learn the basics of GIMP, you can watch my beginner's guide videos. You can find them in my channel. And that's pretty much for this tutorial. That's it for now. Bye.